How's it going, Jeremiah? In today's video, I will be telling you why this Roland FP30X that was very recently released as an improved model of the Roland FP30 is as close to an actual traditional acoustic grand piano as you can get for under 750 US dollars. So in my humble opinion, there are nine reasons why this Roland FP30X comes so close to replicating the feel and the sound of an actual grand piano and for a really very reasonable price. Not too long ago, you have to spend easily three or four thousand dollars on a piano before you can get a quality or features like those that you find on the Roland FP30X. If you would like more information about this piano, do check out the links in the description after the video so that you can get more information as well as check out the latest prices on this piano for yourself. So let's look at the very first thing that any digital piano that tries to emulate a traditional acoustic piano should have. Firstly, it should have 88 keys because most pianos and grand pianos would have 88 keys. And above and beyond that, these keys should be weighted, which means that it should not be as light as a keyboard or a synthesizer keys. There is a weight to it when you press down on notes. In addition to that, the keys should be a graded hammer action, which means that the keys on the lower register of the piano is heavier and it gets lighter as you reach the top. So that is the first criteria. It should have 88 graded hammer action weighted keys. That's not difficult for pretty much most digital pianos out there. So the second thing that makes this really close to the action of a grand piano is that of escapement. As you press down on the keys on a grand piano, you can feel a little notch before it goes down further. And this is part of the whole escapement structure where the jack uh, just disconnects from the knuckle of the piano. And this is a feature you would not find on any pianos at this price point. So you can really feel it when you play, especially when you're playing slow ballad songs or you're playing slower classical pieces. You can feel this little kickback. And that is uh, when the keys, there's a let off in the keys in a traditional grand piano. So you can also find this phenomenon on upright pianos, but you can barely feel it. But on grand pianos, especially the larger nine foot grand piano, you can definitely feel this little key off action. Reason number three, why this feels very close to the a grand piano is the key tops. Somehow, Roland just gets it right with the very mildly textured white keys. So the Yamaha at this price range is on the other extreme where it's just very glossy and plain smooth white keys. And Casio has decided to take the other extreme which is extremely textured keys such that it doesn't feel natural. I have never seen real life piano keys that are as textured as those found on the Casio CDP and PXS series. Um, but Roland just does it right. This really feels like the piano keys on most grand pianos. In a humid country like I'm in Singapore where we sweat a lot and humidity is really high, summer all year round. This gives a very confident feel when I'm playing uh, complex pieces on this Roland FP30X. Reason number four why this Roland FP30X is really quite phenomenal at this price range is that the notes on the higher register of the pianos are actually not dampened which means that even if you are not stepping on the sustain pedal, the notes are not dampened. Let me show you what I mean. Without stepping on the sustain pedal, the note decays off immediately. If I step on the sustain pedal, the key is undampened, the string is undampened, and the note continues to resonate. 
So now, what is special are the higher registers. I'm not going to step on any pedal and you have a listen. Can you hear the resonance? It's as though the damper pedal is on. And this is a phenomenon like a real grand piano. Because on a real grand piano, there is no dampening of the strings on the higher register simply because the decay is already pretty short and there is insufficient uh, space in there to build a mute system there. That's why the notes on the higher registers are not dampened. And this makes it extremely realistic because literally almost every other piano models out there, every other brand out there, will have dampening applied throughout the entire 88 keys. And that is not how a real piano behaves. So this is as close to a real actual piano as you can get. And reason number five is a very straightforward one. It has triple pedal, which means that it will have the soft function, the sostenuto, as well as the dampening feature on these three pedals. For a digital piano to emulate a grand piano, it needs to have the triple pedal, especially the sostenuto pedal, which very few upright pianos have. And that is a feature only found on grand pianos. And if you want to play songs which incorporates the sostenuto pedal feature, you will definitely need the triple pedal function. And this is where the Roland FP30X have this triple pedal feature. So you can check out the links in the description. And this Roland FP30X is available with a wooden stand and it comes with a triple pedal system that you can purchase together as a whole set. Links in the description with the current pricing. Reason number six is the Supernatural Piano Sound Engine found on the Roland FP30X. In my opinion, the Yamaha AWM sampling system on the uh, pianos around this price range as this Roland FP30X is a little bit dated and just isn't as detailed and as warm and having that kind of harmonics as the Supernatural Piano Sound. You can hear it has a lot of harmonics in there which makes it very pleasant. There are multiple layers to that samples and it's not just a, a single sound. Number seven is the note polyphony. So finally, the Roland FP30X has been upgraded from 128 notes of polyphony to 256 notes. So this is important because polyphony isn't just a very straightforward issue of how many notes you can play at a time or how many notes can be sustained because if you're using multi-sample for each key you strike, if you're trying to replicate the string resonance, the damper resonance, the mechanical noises, the, the key noises, the pedal noises, and, and just the entire harmonics and sound of the piano, all these has to be taken care of by the number of polyphony. So with a lower polyphony, you know, there is a limit to how much detail can be expressed when you're playing more complex, slow, lush pieces and this is where the new 256 notes of polyphony is such an advantage for this Roland FP30X. And this is something noteworthy because on an acoustic piano or a grand piano, note polyphony is unlimited. You can sound as many notes as you want and for as long as you want before it decays off. Reason number eight are the built-in amplification on the Roland FP30X. At this price range, the Roland has one of the more powerful amplification system, which is 11 watts of uh, amplification for each side of the speakers. And that's a total of 22 watts. And this allows it to be a very capable pair of monitor speakers that is able to convey the bass notes and the higher register pretty accurately. I wouldn't say that it is extremely accurate, but it is definitely the best among all the other pianos in this price range. But that brings us to point number nine. The reason number nine why this Roland FP30X is finally able to bring you closer to what a grand piano sounds like is that it has a pair of quarter inch stereo outputs, which allows you to plug in a pair of more 
powerful, active Thero speakers. And that is able to bring out all the detail and the nuance in the very good sound samples that is found um, on this Roland FP30X. So previously on the FP30, there isn't the quarter inch stereo outputs, which is quite a shame if you want to connect it to a pair of very powerful and good quality speakers to bring out the details in the sound. And finally, we can do this on the FP30X, which makes this really fantastic as a, a performance or a gigging instrument with a sound and a mechanism and the key action that is very similar to that of a grand piano. You must be thinking that I feel this Roland FP30X is the perfect piano. No, it isn't. There are quite a number of flaws. However, if we're just concentrating on this being very close to what a grand piano does, it does that very well. But there are other flaws which I will cover in another video, so make sure you're subscribed. So let me know in the comment section if you agree with me if the Roland FP30X is as close to a grand piano for the price that you're paying. My name is Jeremy C and I'll see you soon.